Uh, welcome back to the Preston View. Has Ryan Lowe finally silenced the Boo Boys? Can't hear them anymore, can we, Joey? Not sure about that, but <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's, um, it's, 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 it's a bit of a combination of um, he's actually sort of listening to the fans <laughs> and actually playing that um, attacking lineup. We're, we're um, playing from the front. Um, I think, you know, having Mads, Reese, and um, Keane at the minute, I think they're all some good form. So I think I think there's a bit of a combination in that. But in fairness to him, I think there, he has learned from at least his substitutions. I think we've been doing them good. And I think we've just been, you know, learning how to to, to win, really. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll last because, you know, we have been very clinical, as we have been all season, to be honest with you. I think, you know, if it weren't for a clinicality, I think we'd be stirring the bottom three now. But um, having said that, I think it is it is it is looking more positive. It is looking more positive. Um, and, you know, we are, we are you know, doing... Playing in the right areas, I think you know. Before the the week, well, before the Ipswich game, if you said to me, you know, um, how you would you take a, a point from those two games, Cardiff away, where we notoriously have a have a poor record, and obviously Ipswich, you had only lost three all season, then I think um, I think I would have said, yeah, I'd, I'd snap your hand up for a point. That's so to get six points, one clean sheet, five goals. To be fair, that's that's dreamland stuff. So yeah, I think it's it's looking positive at least. Tony, Sorry, just got some background noise from somewhere. I can't see where it's coming from. I think it's the Birmingham fan. <laughs> it's Adam. Adam, I'm just going to mute you. Sorry. Right. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah. And um, welcome to the Preston View. Um. Our Blackburn fan, Harry. Um. Harry, when uh, when Preston came to Ewood Park um, earlier in November, it's a Friday night game. I'm sure you remember it well. They did a bit of a, a smash and grab on you. Um, is it 90, 95th minute uh, winner? Um, you're hoping for revenge, I would imagine, this weekend. Yeah, completely hoping for revenge. Uh, I thought we were hard done by in that game. Uh, not a game that I remember too well, but I remember it sort of being uh, us going forward trying to get the winner and then they nicked it late on uh, but it's a completely different feel around the club at the minute uh, what, I'm, what a difference a week makes um, Eustace coming in everyone's feeling a lot more positive that's the one thing I um, thought about in the last um, the one difference it looked like in the game at the weekend how much the players the fans everyone just the, the feel good factor around the club uh, and hopefully we can take that into the game on Saturday yeah, I'd imagine Joey, you were just hoping that uh, uh, Blackburn just hung on for another week with their with their uh, previous manager. Yeah, yeah. There's always a new manager bounce, um, and yeah, I, I think uh, the way Blackburn were looking at the one point, you're thinking they're going to they're going to be brought into this relegation battle. I think that the squad's too good for that. I think they've got a pretty similar squad to us, to be honest with you. And uh, I think when uh, when we did play them early in the season, yeah, they they came out the trap straight away. It was a very, actually very good game. It's probably the most entertaining game I've seen uh, involving us this season, and uh, being helped by the referee letting the game flow. Um, and yeah, we, it was sort of end to end a lot. Um, so that's what we can expect from them. And um, okay. I think yeah, so, um, yeah. We, just just going back to to the to the to the game against um, against Cardiff this weekend. So you, you've been screaming out, and lots of Preston fans have as well, for, for Mads to start regularly and. And play two up front for months. I think we can go back to videos on you from December saying, "Just start two up front, start meds." Um, is it fair to say he might have now finally cracked it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. Yeah, I mean, you know, I might uh, apply for the next manager job when, when it comes <laughs> up because <laughs> it seems to have worked. But no, um, I, I, I think it's, I think it's, I think Reese is, 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 you know, he's obviously had on a big injury spell, but he's probably one of our better players, and and to have him back and. Now he's finally fit. He's found his form. He's linking up well with Keane. He's got Mads behind it. I mean, that's uh, that's good enough uh, front three for any team in this division. And then that's before you forget about, you know, Liam Miller, who's almost like the guy who was a man of the moment a couple of months ago, but now he's sort of the forgotten man because because of how them three are playing. So, yeah, I yeah. think at the moment, that's what we need to sort of do is actually play to our strengths, which is our attack. We've been very poor defensively. I think Woodman, by even by, uh, by his standards, I think has been as a, a poor season. So I think we need to play to our strengths, which I think we are doing now, which is good because um, we've far too often throughout the season 
sat back and just let invite pressure on and tried to hit them a counter. And I just don't think it's it works. And I think we just found out, to be honest, we have the first 10 or so games this season. Okay. I think Terrace Talk can take a little bit of credit as well because I think about a video we did about a month ago was about Mizevic and actually how, you know, he should be dropped and he can't control the ball. And I think you mm. said, you know, yeah, actually it's time for a rest. And actually since that, um, yeah, uh, he's done exactly that, hasn't he? And, and actually, he's he, the criticism he was getting because he was fielding such defensive players, wasn't he? He was incredibly negative. And, and actually, since he's gone more positive, what, six points from two... two very tough fixtures. You know, Cardiff away that like you never win at. Um, so nice for you to come back from, from South Wales with, with some points for once. And and of course, Ipswich as well. So, um, yeah, I think Ryan Lowe can thank you and this channel, Carney. Yeah, and, and we even went to Leeds and we, we could have got something from them as well when we did that. And actually, the, when we made the subs to go back negative again, that's when uh, Leeds, Leeds actually beat us at home. So I think, you know, there's, there is definitely something in that. I think... Um, Mainly because actually, as I said before, how clinical we've been, you know, like Keane, you know, got the best goals per minute uh, record in the league. I think, you know, we have been very clinical and it's something that, you know, watching off and I don't think I've ever seen because normally it's, we waste a lot of chances. Um, so if you're clinical, you're, you're, you make a few chances in the game, you're going to score. Um, and I think that's, that's been the key thing really, because I think, like I say, far, far too often we were trying to sit back, just hope we can nick one and, uh, I think it, it just wasn't working. It wasn't working at all. And I think Lowe was almost like scared, I think, at one point. I think definitely before he had the sort of confidence, uh, of all confidence, should I say, from the board. I think he was scared of, of losing a game. And I, I remember the Norwich away game when we did that. And we were just, we just, I've, I've never seen such a, a defensive performance just to play out for a nil-nil. And it was such a boring game. Um, so hopefully he's learned from it. Um, but yeah, I mean, next Saturday is going to be a, a tough game because the way Blackburn plays, it's, it's very different. Okay. All right, then let's uh, let's talk about the game then uh, this weekend. Um, good old Lancashire uh, hot pot. I can see you both have got backgrounds deliberately to wind um, each other up, which we we <laughs> we always like on this on this channel. Um, uh, we've asked this question before, but just remind the neutral Harry um, the dislike between Blackburn and, and Preston. Obviously, you know Burnley and Blackpool are, are the, obviously the rivals for, rivals for each, but of course they've they've not been in the leagues same league as much as, as Preston and Blackburn have, have. So is it is it almost this is becoming just as fiery as as a as a Blackburn uh, Burnley game would be? Well, there's the debate that's going around: is it or isn't it a derby? I think it is a derby. Um, obviously Burnley's the big one for Rovers, but if we're not playing them, then we've got to get up for these games against teams like Preston. Um, so a team that have been playing sort of similar similar level uh, uh, in terms of performance-wise last few years, sort of been mid-table championship, uh, which I think is, if anything, enhanced the rivalry, both trying to compete to get in that last playoff spot it's been for the last couple of years. So it's been it's going to be a feisty one, I think. Yeah, and Joey, obviously Blackpool aren't you know anywhere near your level uh, for a number of years now. So is is as Preston taken over as as sorry is, is Blackburn taken over as your you know one you want to beat? Yeah, I think it has. I mean, I think I remember going back to when I was younger, growing up. I, I didn't even see Blackpool as as the rival because Burnley were in the same division. I think Blackburn were in the Premier League at that point, so it was Burnley who I absolutely detested. But now, like Burnley, just sort of we forgot about it a bit. So I think Blackburn have replaced Burnley at least in in that sense. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's been some really good games between us in the last few years, uh, and I think we've just got the upper hand over them in the in the last few years at least. Um, so yeah, it's it's, it's a, I think it's a good derby. Um, you know, when we go to theirs, you know, sometimes take six, seven thousand, and it's just always a good, there's always a good atmosphere. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Okay, let's get some score predictions then. Um, Preston against a new look Blackburn and a new feel Blackburn. Um, so let's get uh, some uh, some score predictions. Joey, you can go first. You're at home. Yeah, so I mean, I can see us both scoring. I don't, I don't know what that means. I know mean, it means it's going to be at least a one-one. Um, but it's, I, I can also see both sides winning two one so I might just sit on the fence here and just go one one just because they've had they have their banager bounce. Um I think you know I know we did win six in a row at the start of the season. I just can't see us well to be fair we've got Borough tomorrow night but um I can't see us winning you know consecutively especially if it's a it's a derby game anything can go out the window. I was just listening to a, a podcast with Tom Clark a role player and he said that every manager he's worked under you know said the same thing you know like oh, 
the phone goes like so. His even managers say the same thing that actually, you know, they can't do anything, and it's just you've got to be at full throttle. So anything could happen in the day, as cliche as it is. So I'm going to sit on the fence and just say one one. Okay, Harry. Uh, yeah, well, don't expect the same Blackburn side that we've been seeing last few. The, the, we're not going to have the possession-heavy, free-flowing uh, John Del Thomason ball that we've seen in the last 18 months or so. Eustace has brought in a completely different style, uh, although he wasn't in charge for a good proportion of the game on um, Saturday. We know what kind of football he wants to play. is going to be a bit more direct. But uh, like, like like you said, it, it's a derby. Everything goes out the window. Uh well, I'm sure we'll bring a lot of fans to deep down and we'll be right up for it. But I think I'm also going to sit on the fence and so going to say one all as well. Okay. All right. Thank you both for joining us. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the game. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.